Hi Divas, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Sheila. I'm also known as the Bling Bling Diva. Um, if you're new to my channel, if the subscribe button down below is red, definitely go ahead and ring that notification bell and hit subscribe. I do unboxings, reviews, tutorials, eye looks, talk about $5 jewelry, and I do upload often. Now, I have become to like Morphe a lot, a lot more than I thought I would. And I saw this 35 XO palette and it's their Christmas palette. And yes, I went a little crazy and I ordered the brushes too. So I am going to be doing a look today with this gorgeous... 35 XO palette and there are some colors that are calling out to me and it's really pretty I as you can tell I had my eyebrows microbladed and updated again so what we'll be doing is I will be doing a look with the 35 XOXO palette I want to do a very pinky look because I'm wearing pink and purple and the only thing that I'm not going to be using of Morphe is a Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and eyeliner that I like. And I have a lip product around here somewhere that I will throw on as well. So, as many of you know, I am a makeup freak. I love all these brushes. They are beautiful. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to prime my lid with a base color. Cannot put primer on my eyes yet. So I am just digging through here. And I am gonna use this fluffy right here. And um, <laughs> I've got to tell you the names of these in this palette. Single Life Across the Room, Come Here Often, Your Move, Hair Flip, Get the Digits, Eye Contact, You Up, Message Red, Major Seduction, Feeling Touchy, no, Touchy Feely, excuse me, Hard to Get, Body Language, Just Friends, Met Online, Matchmaker, Double Tap, The Chase, Talk Feelings, To Swoon, Slay the Field, Charmer, Dating History, Kiss Me, Crushing Hard, Second Date, Show Me Some Skin, Let's Snuggle, Love Story, Over the Moon, Meet the Rents, Happily Ever After, Plus One, With This Bling, and Make It Official. Now, this is such a beautiful, beautiful palette. I was really, really, really shocked when I saw it. I was like, ooh, I really like that. Ooh, I really want it. So what I'm going to do is for a base, I am going to use your move right there. And I'm going to put it all over my lid. Go Morphe. There is hardly any fallout in the pan. Go Morphe. I picked a shimmer shade. Go figure. I picked a shimmer shade. But I always seem to pick shimmers because I love shimmers. And I am putting that all over my lid. And it is beautiful. Okay. You know me, I love sparkle. I love shimmer. Like if this was me back in the day, this would be the only color on my lid and I would leave. But since getting into makeup more, I do a lot more now which surprises a lot of people because I was never the makeup girl. I was the very basic girl. Okay, 
that shade by itself is gorge. Gorge, gorge, gorge. Okay, so we're going to go for a pinky look. So I put this color, fourth one in. It's called Your Move right there. You can see where I pressed in the pan. And then I'm going to do, I am going to... I'm going to do kiss me. I'm going to put in my crease. Kiss me. You know what? I'm going to try something different this time. I'm going to go put kiss me. And I'll show you the shade in a second. Being very ooh, pretty. So I'm going to put Kiss Me in the corner here. And I'm going to go to the middle. You can definitely see it. There is hardly any fallout in this pan. I'm impressed. And what I like as you can see it is buildable. So I'm going to do my other eye. Hardly any fallout in the pans. I'm really happy about that. But. Because it's a new palette. And I am familiar with Morphe's product. I am always a little cautious when playing. Oh, I made that side darker. Okay. Got to fix that. Let me fix that. All right. And if you look, it is buildable. And I can't believe I'm eight minutes into this video and I only have two shades done. Sorry. Guess I'm turning into a slacker. Okay. All right. Now... And I am only using brushes that came with this collection. All right, out here, I'm gonna put Happily Ever After. And this is gonna be darker than I thought. Yes, it is. see hopefully it doesn't mess it up oh no it doesn't look how pretty that is that blends so well okay happily ever after on the other side
every brush I use, I'm placing on the side. Now I'm gonna take this brush and I am gonna go into with this bling, with this bling, and I'm gonna put it up above. It looks pink, but it's coming up with a brownish tone. Well, I've already committed. So let's just hope it doesn't bring a harsh line out. What do y'all think? Okay, if you use with this bling, it does come out darker than you would expect. Actually looks really pretty. Actually blended a lot better than I thought. Okay. Now there is a color in here that I am dying to put in the middle of my eye and it's called Crushing Hard right there. And I want to pack it in here and they do have this great little packer and it does pick it up. So let's just hope I can pack it in there without putting anything on it. little brush is amazing the first time I saw this brush is when um, mama Mitchell did um, the collaboration with Morphe on his 24 M palette it's a great little packer definitely picks it up I'm using the opposite side of the brush. What do you all think? I need to blend this a little bit more. I'm gonna go back in with this. Just lightly blend it. Lightly blend it into the other color. And then what I am going to do is Single Life. Single Life is the color right here. I'm going to put it in the corner here and in the corner here. Just for a little pop of color. All right, I'm gonna have to blend that out a little bit because I want a little ham with that. Okay, just give me a second. I'm, I'm, I honestly, would you please leave your comments down below if you think I'm getting better with my makeup, I'm getting worse with my makeup, 
I need to stop doing this all together. I really do value opinions. So I am going to take Happily Ever After and smoke out my lower lash line. And I know this is a big brush, but I want that extra smoke. What do y'all think? I think this is a little crazy in here. That's why I, I always I always keep extra brushes near me like a crazy lady. Now we're going to go in with the Better Than Sex Mascara. Because I recently got it and I liked it. So let's see what you all think of this look. Wow. It's a long video for me. And I'm sorry. It's just my honest review and first impressions on the Morphe 35X palette, 35XO, sorry, palette. And I wanna be honest And I don't want to cut any corners. Okay, eyeliner. Now I got more brushes to clean. Yay! Okay. Oh, I hear a kid coming. Oh, my cheat line. Yes, I have a cheat line because about 15, 20 years ago, I had my eyeliner tattooed on. And I still have a little gray line on my face, so it makes it easier for me to do eyeliner. Oh, something just fell. And I was looking to see if I had a lippy to finish off this look. And I do. Yes, there is a video that comes out, is coming out before this video where I bought some Too Faced stuff. So that's why I'm using the Too Faced stuff because it's right here. So 
my review on the 35 XO palette. I love it. If you can afford to spend the money, I would get it. I think it's one of Morphe's more versatile palettes. I absolutely love it. I love the look that I did. I have no complaints. I think it's worth it. Um, definitely leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think of this look. And this is starting to look a little crazy. Do you see that? Because my eyes were in. So I want to fix that. Oh, hello. I don't know if I can fix it. Oh, well, I just jacked up my look. See? Oh, well. <laughs> Spent all this time doing makeup and then I mess it up at the end. Well, definitely leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think I jacked this up. Well, I know I jacked up this eye, so can't blame that one. But I do appreciate your love. I do appreciate your support. And I will see you on the next one.